Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And, uh, of course, a lot of comments, a lot of people all uh, discouraged and sad about the SDR Connect. And, and I think we don't have to be right now. Uh, SDR Connect is at something right now. It, um, it's a preview. A preview is, of course, unfinished software. So, you know, don't look at this as, oh, well, this is sad. I won't be using this. On, I won't be doing that or whatever. Uh, remember that they started working on it and they're going to continue working on it. So, you know what? It's, it's probably going to be fantastic when it's an official release version. They wanted to show us before it's finished, you know, if some of us wanted to use it. And I'm sure, actually, they did it also in another uh, way. And it's the fact that they are actually taking all comments. And, you know, they'll be watching channels like this and see what people think. And, you know, they already have said that there's a lot of things coming that, you know, are not there yet. The good thing and this is where we have to be positive, first of all, because they're working on software that's multi-platform. I mean, this is great. And we got to give at least, you know, a, a good positive point for that. Multi-platform is fantastic. Not a lot of software, just that. And you can try it if you want. And if you don't like it, you can always use SDR Uno. SDR Uno continues working. I mean, if I do this... Yeah, this works. And it's going to start. But shut it down. And something you hate, you know what? Wait until the next release, the next update, and just fire up SDR Uno. Both can work side by side without any problems. So, you know what? Use it if you want to use it for something. If you don't like it, well, go to SDR Uno, and you'll have that. Now that's very heavy interference from a treadmill. So uh, basically, you know what? It doesn't matter. You can use the new one, and you can actually use the old one if you want to. And one last thing that is great. I was waiting for that. Um, when you install the new version, you have the new driver also. It's an updated driver. Uh, one of the things that I didn't like about the original drivers that in the security software for Windows. Um, in the device security side, when you looked at core isolation, you had something called memory integrity, and I, it was always off. And if I tried to turn it on, it said that the, the SDR Play driver for the RSP was preventing this from being turned on. It was incompatible. And already, this is cool. Now we see that we're moving ahead. The new SDR Connect actually installs a new driver. That new driver fixes the problem. You can now turn on more security because it's compatible with it. So there's a positive point for security reasons in Windows also. But apart from that, you know what? You can have both. Go back to SDR Uno if you're not happy and wait for updates to the SDR Connect. And when updates appear, try it out. Is it better? Something there that wasn't there before? Uh, is the processing better? Um, I have also noticed the processing and the audio from, you know, what I hear isn't exactly the same. Um, so, you know, just to have them side by side. And when there's an update, try the SDR Connect. And, you know, I'm sure at some point it's going to be great. Um, don't, don't, you know, be too negative and too hard on SDR Play Team also. Uh, it's difficult to make these software. They're working on it. And all I can say, it is a preview. Previews is unfinished. You cannot judge the finished product on the preview. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.